Just stand oh. over it. Run. Hey, run, run. Happy New Year's, everyone. It is now 2021. Only minutes ago, you guys saw me find one of the craziest looking spotted salamanders I have ever seen. But that was back in, that was last year. So we're gonna go out and do it again and try to find something cool. 2021, let's do this. We're about to go look for salamanders. It's misting, it's rainy. We had a great New Year's Eve here celebrating with my family and a couple of our close friends. So we're gonna get out there, see if we can find some salamanders to kick off the new year. Well, we're starting off the year with uh, two cantankerous, gigantic worms. Worm. Rather, <laughs> rather than snakes or salamanders, we just get the two biggest Worm. worms in the world. What is what is going on here, man? <laughs> is that something some meme I'm unfamiliar with? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's huge. Anyways, hopefully there will be some salamanders further up the road. But for now, we have... Worm. <laughs> right off the bat, right past the worms, we have a big... Adult male spotted salamander as our first herp of 2021. Look at that. Last herps of 2020 and the first herps of 2021. So cool. This is a more typical looking one as opposed to the crazy looking patternless thing we saw in the last episode. This is a beautiful adult male spotted salamander. Got some nice kind of orangish dots towards the head and then tapers into these more typical yellow spots towards the back. You can tell this is a boy because he's got that swollen cloaca back there. This guy's clearly heading towards the vernal pools. These guys actually go to the pools before the females and deposit spermatophores, which the females then come and track down as opposed to the other way around, which is what most animals do. But with uh, a lot of salamanders, actually the male, the females will actually search down the male spermatophores after they drop them off. And that's how the reproduction occurs. It's external fertilization. But anyways, we're gonna move this guy off the road and keep walking and see what else is out. All right, next herp of 2021 is another gravid female four-toed salamander without a tail. What a silly looking creature. These guys have actually like evolved to have like probably one of the most dramatic tail dropping uh, defense mechanisms I've ever seen. I actually pretty commonly will be walking this road and I'll just see a tail of a four-toed salamander with no animal attached. These guys actually seem to be pretty successful at dropping their tails and surviving either predatory attempts or just uh, getting clipped by cars and the tail pops off. I don't know what it is, but it's super weird and I see a lot without tails and I see a lot of tails just like flopping around in the road on rainy nights like tonight. So anyways, nice gravid female four-toed salamander surely on her way to lay her eggs. So we're going to leave her to it. Not as much yellow, more red. Than... It's another four-toed salamander. Nice uh, big adult male. These guys are much cooler when they're big like this. It seems like a lot of the ones I find are metamorphs, so they're they're so tiny, they're hard to really see. When they get this size, you can kind of appreciate them a little bit better. You can see he's got that beautiful color transition towards his hind legs into the tail. They have that beautiful carrot orange coloration. And then those big pheromone receptors you see on the head that are used for following females. So this guy might even be on the trail of that female we just saw. They're close enough together, it's believable. So I'm gonna help him across the road and then we're gonna keep walking. Deal. Here's our third species of the night. Nice looking adult southern two-line salamander. <laughs> I think this is a female, but she doesn't look to be gravid. Or no, I think it is just a boy with a small siri. Not very super pronounced. You can see that little bump on his nose. Anyways, the third species for the night and the third species for the year of 2021. It's, oh man, this is what it's all about right here. Oh, We've got multiple salamanders. There's a four-toed here. That's a big gravid female four-toed. It looks like, that's no, a slug. That's not even a salamander. <laughs> and then right here, we have another. Dude, this is sick looking. Another crazy looking spotted salamander. Super reduced spotting. But his <laughs> spots are huge. <laughs> this guy doesn't have many, but what? Big chungus. Quality, quality over quantity with this guy's spots. Check that out. That's cool looking. What a good looking salamander. Another <laughs> big male spotted salamander. Look at this mist. Perfect salamander weather. Anyways, here's another look at this gravid four toed. I think she's gravid. Can't really tell if this is a boy or a gravid female. He's really pudgy if it is a boy. Either way, big adult four toed salamander. Put him next to my boots so you can see. This is a massive adult. That's as big as these guys get, a couple inches long. 
These are a diminutive species of salamander, but they're really cool. Love to see them. All right, guys, here's yet another four-toed salamander. Probably gonna end up being the most common species of the night. Smaller one, looks like. like. Yeah, a little bit smaller than the others. But I might stop showing these guys unless something extraordinary pops up, so another good-looking four-toed. All right, guys, here's the first spring peeper of 2021. One might even say the first spring peeper of spring. These guys are gonna be <laughs> calling here, here shortly as uh, we start warming up in the, uh, in the new year. But uh, as you can see, this is a good looking little, uh, probably a male spring peeper on his way to where he's gonna be calling to try to attract a mate. So I'm gonna help this guy across the road and keep walking. There's a four toed behind it running. Nice, and there's another one up the road. Another spotted and another four toed right here together. As I was expecting, these guys are definitely moving strong tonight, along with the four toed salamanders. Another young male four toed here, right next to the spotted. And it looks like there's a couple more salamanders up the road, so we're gonna move these guys off and keep looking. All right, guys, right here we have a four toed. And then up the road a bit does look like we have a spotted there's a dor four toed you got no pick em? no no pick oh yeah it's kind of weird here's a spotted salamander just kind of hanging out with a dor four toed this is another big male spotted salamander here's what looks like a dude this is a huge four toed look at that guy big and chunky I mean, he doesn't look that much bigger next to my boot, but uh, you know, every little couple centimeters counts when it comes to these guys, because they don't get very big. That's a huge four toed, you'll have to take yeah. my word for it. Yes, <laughs> Dude, there's so many four toads right here, look at this. Okay, that's a, that's a millipede. This but... is a millipede. Yeah. Okay, well that is a four toed for sure, right there, one four toed. Then we got two four toads. Take that, three four, uh, two four toads. That's three right there. And then, oh, that's a millipede. So it looks like, was that three or four? Oh, and an upland chorus frog right there. <laughs> a ton of stuff right there in that little area. All right, another double stop here. We've got, grab a female four toed right there, big thick girl. And then we've got another Big, probably a male spotted salamander. Yep. Big male. Love to see it. We're gonna help both these guys across the road. What a quick and successful start to 2021. Crazy to believe that it's already the new year. And uh, we're starting it off pretty strong here with a bunch of awesome salamanders helping these guys get across the road. Hear that? It's a peeper. There's a peeper calling in the background. Anyways, we're gonna help these guys safely cross the road and hopefully be able to successfully reproduce and create more lovely salamanders. There's two more four toads at least. Three actually, there's one over there. Yeah, it is kind of weird. And then two more four toads. <laughs> these guys are everywhere tonight. Here's a four-toed salamander that was in the road right next to this upland chorus frog. Only seen one chorus frog tonight, kind of surprising. These guys are normally everywhere on nights like tonight, so they're not calling nearby either, which is kind of surprising. But anyways, gonna help these two across the road. This is some of my favorite weather to be out in. It's misty, beautiful, warm. It's probably in the low 60s, high 50s tonight. Perfect weather to be out looking for salamanders. And sometimes you'll even look up and find a snake on a night like tonight. Here's a spotted salamander that has just success successfully crossed the road. Looks no worse for wear. Nice to see that he successfully crossed without our help. There's a big boy rapidly crossing the road up here. What are you, spotted? Is this the same dude? No, it's a different dude that has similar spots. He's got few spots, but big spots. 
What a cool looking guy. How's it going, bud? Big handsome spotted there salamanders. All right, guys, it's closing in on 2 a.m. We've been out here for quite a bit. And uh, this is the second one of these guys we've seen tonight. Nice handsome male southern two-line salamander. You can see he's got those big dangly siri for tracking females. And uh, a little, little bit of a stub tail on this guy. Broke off at some point. But uh, we're going to move him across the road. We might end up calling it a night here pretty soon. It's getting kind of late. All right, guys, we are going to call it a night at that. And uh, it's supposed to rain like this most of the day tomorrow, so we'll probably get out tomorrow night and shine around some of the vernal pools. Let's see what kind of breeding activity is going on. Then the day afterwards, it's going to be nice and warm, so we might get out and try to find some snakes. Anyways, that's going to be it for the night, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy New Year's, and I will see you guys on the first full day of 2021. Of course, since I ran an outro, there is a four-toed in Pretty in the drive. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Nice looking four toed salamander in the driveway. Probably the last herp of the night. Beautiful. Good looking carrot tail. Clumsy boy. She flipped over. I think this is a gravid female. Boy. Slowly making her way down the driveway. So we're going to help her out. All right, everyone. It is the night of the first day of 2021. Still January 1st, but uh, it's after dark today. Slept in a little bit, went and watched some football. And now it's warm and wet tonight, and Ian and I are heading out to shine around some vernal pools. I don't know how well you can hear, but there is an explosive breeding event happening with some of the local frog species right now, and we can already hear them as we we're approaching these pools. So hopefully we're going to be in for a good night of looking at frogs and salamanders, but I will check in with you guys when we get to the pool that's up ahead. Look at this gentleman. That is a sizable. Watch out, watch out. There's, oh, there's two people. Nice. We got a, dude, that's an impressive looking frog. That's a weird looking upland chorus frog. Gravid female, heading over there to all those calling males, no doubt. And right here we have what kind of looks like a fowler's toad, but I think it's just a really strongly patterned American toad. Kind of weird for a fowler's to be out this time of year. We're probably gonna see a ton of these guys over in the breeding pool, so we're gonna help them across the road and keep moving. Listen to that. That is mostly upland chorus frogs and American toads. Crazy. There's a leopard frog. Spotted two of them. Wow. I saw a leopard frog jump in. Two spotted salamanders right there. You got American toads there. Crazy upland chorus frogs. Ooh, spook that guy a little bit. Don't want to mess with him too much. Let's keep moving. A bunch more calling over here. Thank <laughs> you. 
that's a southern leopard frog right there. I'm keeping the narration to a minimum because talking kind of scares these guys. I don't know what spooked them now. I didn't start talking until after they stopped calling. But uh, I'm just, I'm going to try to label everything and uh, keep the narration to a minimum just so you guys can soak this up. Kind of like I'm doing right now. Just watching, observing. There's a bunch of spotted salamanders right here. See one guy there. I saw there's a bunch of spermatophores right there. I saw a couple more over here. The guy there. You see those white clusters right there that you see on the bottom are spermatophores, which are these guys will drop those and uh the females actually come to those and will use them to fertilize their eggs. A couple of spotted right here. Two big males. No egg masses yet, so I'm assuming that means the females have not moved into these ponds yet. This is probably the tenth spotted I've seen in this pool alone. There were two more over in that first pool. Something big moving around over there. Oh, there's a spotted right there. Big guy coming in. I lost sight of that other one. This is incredible. Love it. There's two more. There's a guy right there. And a guy over there. Don't see any more over here. Just those two. see these guys are actually kind of camouflaged when they're down in the pine straw at the bottom of this pool. Those spots serve them well in this in this situation. There's a new species for the night. That right there is a gravid female red spotted newt. She is super thick and I'm, she's gonna move out into the open here in a second. I'll give you a better look at her. But awesome. Bro, that's my foot. There's some toads successfully laying eggs. Pretty cool. And there's tons of boys just hanging out in this area. These guys are just perfectly content to hang out with Ian here while he takes pictures of those other toads. <laughs> Hello, brother. What are you doing? Dude, see him? There's at least like six of them right here. There's three there, one over there, and at least three more over there that I saw earlier. Is this the deepest little part? No, there's a better one. There's two more over there. It's a pretty little 
newt. Lots of these guys, as expected. These are generally the most common salamander we see out here. I'm gonna walk a little further and see what else I see. Here, there's a couple toads. See a toad right here, just hanging out. Oh, there's a big uh, egg mass here. Probably leopard frog. Look at that. Wow. Little tadpoles everywhere. This impressive guy is a adult male eastern newt. They get this awesome paddle tail during the breeding season. Right where I let that newt go, there's a big male spotted. Alright, we've got another group of spotted salamanders here. One. Going crazy. There's one here. And then we have to be careful where we step. There were a bunch of them right here. You see all those spermatophores in the uh in the pine straw. Look at that. So cool. I did not. That was the kind of toad I had growing up. A couple of uh, spotteds. Nice little congregation here. Three of them. We found the... This is like the deepest stretch that normally gets the most breeding activity from these guys. So cool to see them swimming in this crystal clear water. Hello. Swam right between my legs. There's another one right there. I passed the other two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Newt right here. Three of them, at least. Another one. There's Newt. Four, five, and seven. Look at that guy right there. Wow. Look at all the newts. There's multiple newts right here, too. Another guy right there. It's a big male. Insane. Mass. Spotted egg mass? Yep. yep. First one of the year. Which means the females are here. There's so many newts right here. Look at all those guys. Yeah. Big spotted. And there is the first egg mass of the season. Well guys, we are probably making our way back to the car. It has been an incredible night out here. Lots of activity, just like I was hoping for. And uh, I tried to keep the narration kind of minimal because of how loud the frogs can be. And when you start talking, you kind of disturb them and they quiet down. And uh, additionally, you wouldn't be able to hear me over the frogs for the most part anyway. So hopefully you guys just enjoy hearing and uh, seeing the sights and sounds that I'm seeing out here and uh, just kind of enjoying the, uh, the peace and being able to kind of absorb it all. These are my favorite nights to walk around out here. The first night of the year, generally after we get a little bit of rain or when these amphibians go crazy and uh, couldn't ask for a much better way to kick off the new year. So I'm probably gonna call it a night here, wrap up this video and uh, 
Tomorrow's gonna be nice and warm, so Ian and I are gonna go out and hopefully look for our first snake of 2021. If you enjoyed this, if you're new to the channel, check it out. Subscribe if you're enjoying. And uh, there's gonna be a lot of cool reptile and amphibian content coming your way. I'm gonna try to post even more videos than I've ever posted before this year. So if you're into this sort of thing, if you enjoy watching it, check out my channel. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.